Hello. So once again, welcome to our economics class on the very daunting chapter of inflation, but which, as you will see, will not remain daunting uh, by the end of this class. So uh, we discussed in the last video, if you haven't seen that one yet, please go back and watch the video on the monetarist explanation of uh, why inflation takes place. But right now we are going to look at another uh, approach to uh, the explanation of inflation and why inflation takes place. So this approach was developed by the Keynesians and uh, the Keynesians of course talk about two forces in the macroeconomy and those forces are the forces of aggregate demand and aggregate supply. Just as there is demand and supply of a product, in the general economy there are two forces, the forces of aggregate demand and the forces of aggregate supply. So what are the Keynesians saying? Now yes, uh, now look at the x-axis and the y-axis. On the x-axis you have like in a normal graph uh, for a product we, we have quantity here. So for the economy we have the GDP here and of course we have the price levels here. So, so what happens? Millions and millions of demanders demanding create this demand curve, uh, aggregate demand curve, and millions and millions of suppliers supplying together will create this force in the market, which is called the aggregate supply. Now, what happens? That the intersection of these two creates the equilibrium in the economy, which is like the equilibrium in the market for the product and this then determines the general price levels so what happens if the aggregate demand increases and why would aggregate demand increase the formula for aggregate demand is ad is equal to c plus i plus g plus x where x is net exports g is government expenditure i is the investment uh, and the C is the consumption by the individual. So if the consumption goes up, or investment goes up, or government spending goes up, or the exports go up, the aggregate demand will go up. And when the aggregate demand rises, this aggregate demand curve rises to AD dash. And here what happens is that you will experience an increase in GDP, which means the economy will expand slightly, but you will also experience an increase in the general price level. So the increase in demand leads to, so this aggregate demand pulls, when it moves out, it pulls the prices up to another level and this causes inflation, which we call demand pull inflation because this inflation is caused by the pull or the increase in demand. But then we have another form of inflation uh, in which basically we combine the worst of both worlds and this is aggregate demand and aggregate supply and once again we have the GDP here all right and this is the price and uh, this is the GDP GDP1 and what happens here here the economy is not performing well there's no growth there is a, there's no increase in consumption there's no increase in investment in fact there is a reduction in aggregate supply industry is not producing so have a look here inflation was increasing but at least there was the silver lining was that there was an increase in gdp but that does not happen here there is a contraction of aggregate supply your industries are not producing the aggregate supply goes back the aggregate supply is reduced, output in the economy is reduced, leading to a reduction in GDP. The, the, the GDP is reduced and because of the GDP a reduction and a reduction in supply, prices move to, from P1, they move to P2. So what happens? Inflation takes place, supply is reduced and the economy goes down in a downward spiral. So this inflation is caused not by 
the increase in demand, but because of increase in the input costs. Why would aggregate supply fall? The aggregate supply falls if the raw material becomes expensive. The aggregate supply falls if labor becomes expensive. The aggregate supply falls if fuel becomes expensive. Electricity becomes expensive. In other words, remember factors affecting supply all related to cost of production. So if the cost of production in the country rises, aggregate supply in the country will fall and GDP will fall with it but the prices will be pushed up. All right, so I hope you understand this. Thank you very much. Please do subscribe to this channel and uh, stay tuned for more videos related to economic concepts. And if, if there's something that you do not understand and you want us to give you a video on that, please do let us know. Thank you.